ahead and start. Open up in prayer in the name of Jesus. We yes. thank you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this yes. prayer. We pray that you just have your way. I decrease, you increase, Lord God. We pray, Father God, according to your word in 2 Timothy 3.17, you said, Father God, that your word is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So we pray that you illuminate the word of God for us this, this morning, Lord God, that you would teach us, that you would remove every skill from our eyes, that we would be able to receive the, the engrafted word of God in the name of Jesus, that, that Lord God, every skill is removed, that we, got, we have eyes in the spirit realm, Lord God. Let us see in the spirit realm. Let us see that there's more for us than there is against us. We thank and praise you for this day. We thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders. And Lord, we even lift up those that are sick and infirm, Lord yes. God. We lift up especially Lupe Boca Negra this morning, Father God. And we send your host army of heaven to bind and defeat every demonic yes. spirit of sickness and infirmity. Right now, in Jesus' name, we decree and declare her healed. Lord, you said if any two touch and agree on anything, yes. that it would be established. Lord, yes. you said one will put a thousand to flight, two will put ten thousand. So right now, Father God, we pray you send all of them, Father, to, to bring her up and out. And Father God, we just yes. thank you and praise you. We thank you for healing, your healing virtue. Let it go into her joints, into her marrow, Father God, this morning. Lord, we even lift up Keely and, yes. and uh, Stacy and their children, Lord, this morning. We ask you for divine, supernatural healing this morning. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We we lift up everyone. Um, I know there's somebody else, and I can't think of them. Felimina. Felimina. Uh, we send the We send the word of healing this morning. It to her that she's completely healed in Jesus' mighty name. And anybody here that would be um, sick, that 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 is sick, um, we, we decree and declare healing over their bodies. We touch and agree. We pray according to your word, Lord God. You said, Father, in your word, that if any two touch and agree on anything, it would be established. Yes. So we decree and declare that, that your plan and your purpose will be fulfilled this morning. Lord, we pray, Father God, that the angel of the Lord encamps around us and delivers us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise God. So we praise God this morning. Yes. So last time I was up here, we talked about deliverance. I don't know why I'm... But Oh, okay. So, okay. So, we talked about deliverance and we went over different things. So, we this is part two. So, if you want to go back and watch part one, if you weren't here or if you're watching online, you go to um, Albert Buford on YouTube. You can find it under the children's thread, part one. So, this is part two. So, we talked about humility and we went over renouncing. We, um, we went over that you have to accept Jesus, right? You can't just deliver anybody that comes across your path because we talked about, you know, uh, they'll come and find the house empty, swept, and clean, and then they'll bring back seven more, and you'll be in a worse situation than you were in the beginning. So we, there's reasons behind everything. It's not just do's and don'ts. It's just... You know, legalities in the spirit realm. We talked about opening doors and, and closing doors and, you sh you know, the, the reasons that you might be suffering through these different things. So I, I encourage you to watch that. You want to de desire to be free. You can't bring your child by the ear mm -hmm. and say, you know, he's been practicing sorcery or, you know, crystals and divination and I want him free. He has to willingly come in and say, I want to be free. I don't want to hear these voices. I don't want to, you Amen. know. You, you have to want to be free, right? Uh, forgiveness, we talked about that, where you can't have unforgiveness in your heart. God said, he's forgiven you. You have to forgive one another. You can't just expect um, him to set you free if you're um, not willing to forgive. You know, Some of us have gone through things, and, and we don't want to forgive. Because it's easy to hold on to that. But we talked about how you're hurting yourself and how the root of bitterness and sickness and infirmity come in and cancer and arthritis. That's a um, you know, very common thing. If you're bound and oppressed demonically, um, sometimes those sicknesses and infirmities, they start to manifest in your body. And, and then if you, you, know, you can look, look it up, science backs that up, and it's, it's the truth. 
um, we talked about unconfessed sin. So we just want to make sure we're walking right with God, right? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we don't have one foot in, one foot out, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're operating in deliverance. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that mm -hmm. because you're going to, you know, invite things that, you know, you don't want to have to fight, right? That's you right. don't want to have to battle, battle these unnecessary things. You want to make sure that you're all in. Jesus said, I would prefer you to be cold than to be lukewarm. Because if you're lukewarm, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. So he wants us to be on fire for him, hot, right? So we have a bunch of vessels in here that want to be used by God, and God's going to use you. He's going to put you in a situation. I don't care if it's next to working next to someone that you just cannot, you know, deal with, whatever the case may be. You know, he's going to put you in a situation, and you're going to have to have that compassion in your heart for them. You're going to have to love the unlovable, you know. So you have to really just make sure that you always put God first. Don't worry. You know, the Bible says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities, darkness, and rulers of this dark world, right? So sometimes you think, oh, she gave me that. She, she gave me that side eye and she, you know, looked me up and down. And she didn't do that to you. You know, we're not operating in the natural. She might be thinking about something that happened and you automatically get offended because you take it personal. You take yeah. things personal. And we don't need to take them personal. We have to just love. God said that the greatest thing was love. He yes. said, what is the most important commandment? He love said, love the Lord your God with all Lord your heart, heart soul, and mind. Yes. And the second is, love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. So you have to, who is my neighbor? Then they start, you know, they keep, <laughs> you know, trying to get push, push the envelope, right? But he's like, he, he had to break that down to them. We're, everybody's our neighbor. So your neighbor could be your neighbor. Your neighbor could be, you know, the person that lives in the next city over. You know, everybody is your neighbor. Mm -hmm. So we have to learn to love. We have to love. The word of God says that love covers a multitude of sin. Yeah. Sometimes we're so quick to judge. Why is she, why is she doing that? Or she's not qualified or, you know, we're so quick to judge, but Jesus wants us to love. He yeah. said, love covers a multitude of sins. Yes. You can be the one thing that's stopping them from being, you know, what the Lord is calling them to be. Because we're Christians. You know, he said we'll be the salt and light of the earth, right? Mm -hmm. He said that we are a city on a hill, you know. We, he tells us these things about ourselves. And we, we have to recognize who we are in Christ and that, the power that he's given us, right? Yeah. It's not by our might. It's not by our power. It's by his Amen. spirit, right? Amen. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to I'm gonna read Psalm 35, 1 through 6. And there's a reason that I'm going to read this. Because, and we talked about this this morning already. So uh, let's go ahead and go there. It says, plead my cause, O Lord with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out also spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion and that devise my hurt. Let them be a shaft before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. This is David talking to the Lord, right? This is before Jesus. And they're already, if you look in the, in, in the Psalms, that's just a bunch of warfare going on. And, and David is, put, is talking to the Lord, and he's like telling the Lord to put these angels to work, and, and I need your help, Lord God, and I need you to, to, um, to turn them back. And, and those that devise my, my hurt, uh, let the angel of the Lord chase them. He's putting them on assignment. He's already talking about spiritual warfare in Psalms. That's what we have to do. 
We have to know, just like when we were praying, that one can put a thousand of light, two can put ten thousand. So you send your, so you send the word. You know, we've seen that. We we see that over and over in the Bible. It just repeats itself of how we have authority and and how we have authority to trample on snakes and scorpions that no man, nothing can by any means harm us. We have power in our tongue, and I love that Rosie was like, no, don't speak that about. Don't take those words back. Take those those yes. words back in the yes. do not speak that i'm yes. not going to yes. confess that that's a lie from the devil because you don't you want to watch you you're coming in agreement you're going to come in agreement with god or you're going to come in agreement with the enemy right. so you're going to come in agreement with some of one of us you know jesus god said if you're not for me you're against me he who is not for me is against me he who does not gather with me scatters so he's not giving you a, a middle option Oh, I'm I'm just I'm atheist and I just choose not to believe in in heaven or hell or I don't choose to believe in Jesus or the devil. Right there you're making a choice. Yeah, right. right. That's true. Right? Yeah. So so he who is not for me is against me. That's what the word of God says. I'm talking about the word. If you're not with God, you're against him. Yes. He said that the carnal mind is an enmity with him. Our natural mind is an enemy of God our natural mind. That's why we have to be spiritually minded. He said that we have the mind of Christ, Amen. right? And you got you can be too, you know, prideful, and you can even be too, um, like, false humility. Oh, I don't, I don't have the mind of Christ. I don't, want, I don't want to have the mind of Christ because that's just, oh, nobody has. No, he said you have the mind of Christ, yeah. that you're fearfully and wonderfully yeah. made, that you're made in his image, yeah. you're made in his yeah. likeness. Yeah. He said these things about you, receive Amen. them. Yeah. receive yeah. them don't let that false humility step in and say no I'm not worthy you know he said that you're worthy you're not worthy you know your righteousness is filthy rags but he's he calls you worthy Amen. Yes. so um we just have to believe that we can do these things that we can um we can do what he's telling us so we we have to get in the Psalms to understand spiritual warfare um in Psalm 34 Psalm 35, 4, and, okay, that's the one that I read, sorry. Um, okay, so no, so you have to know, too. Another thing in deliverance, when you're shouting, you're screaming, you're, come out in the name of Jesus, right? We all have power and authority, right? He said, you have power and authority, um, and and you don't have to raise your voice. Yep. Yes. There's no need yes. for it. You know, he could, he, those demons, they could hear your whisper. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, you could just say, come out now in the name of Jesus. You just have to be firm, right? Yeah. And you don't have to raise your voice, acting like a crazy person. And you have to know that in the spirit realm, like we talked about, there, God has sent his angels. Amen. The first thing that I yes. remember when I talked about that encounter where I had that, it wasn't a traumatic experience, but, but it was a scary was one. New. You know? When you when you encounter deliverance, and um, God will put you, He's gonna put you in a situation where you can help someone get free. Yes. He's yes. gonna do it if He hasn't already done it, and you're gonna you're, they're gonna manifest, and you're gonna be like, oh, what do I do, right? Um, and then and the devil's gonna tell you, you know, he's gonna try to intimidate you and put fear in your heart. Um, the first thing that I did, I was so like scared. <laughs> Let's just be real. I had a, a, a little note on my desk, and it was um, a scripture, and it said, the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. I hung on to that, and I was like, nothing's going to come near me because I fear the Lord. I'm yeah. a, I fear God. I yes. have, you yes. have to fear God, yes. Yes. and he sends right. his angels. Yes. So when things are like that are taking place up here, you yes. just have to know that there's so much more. I was reading in Revelations yesterday, and it was so awesome. I encourage you guys, read the book of Revelations. Yes. You yes. know, he says in the word that he who reads this book will yes. be blessed. That's right. And those yes. who reads it out loud. Yes. And he who is listening will be blessed. So yes. you're going to be blessed. And it's so clear now, clearer than ever. 
If you read it right now, you'll be like, okay, I can see this. Mm -hmm. Back in those, yeah. back in way back, they didn't have any idea where technology was going to be at sure. today. That's so right. we can see all these things yeah. really yeah. happening yeah. if you read it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading it, and he's talking about the angel. There's four angels on the corner of the earth holding back the wind. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they are so powerful yes. mm -hmm. to be able to hold the wind back. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we got, you know, we've got special forces Amen. backing us up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at our disposal, you know, even yeah. during deliverance. It's not us that's doing it. God set it up. He set you up to deliver yeah. that Amen. person. Amen. He's the one that's Amen. doing it. Yes. So you just have to trust God and, yes. and do what he says to do. Yes. Um, and also, speaking again, okay. This is not going to sound right, probably, but, you know, when, when people say, you know, they cower the devil and they, they talk, you know, even, even our, the archangel Michael, he didn't even, he said, the Lord, the Lord rebuke you. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we have to be very careful mm -hmm. about things like that. There's a scripture, and it is in 2 Peter 2, 10 through 12. God is especially hard on those, okay, wait, where is it at? Those who are proud and willful, daring, even to scoff at the glorious ones without so much as trembling. Although the angels in heaven who stand in the very presence of the Lord and are far greater in power and strength than these false teachers, never speak out disrespectfully against the evil, evil mighty ones. But false teachers are fools no better than animals. They laugh at the terrifying powers at the underworld, which they know so little about. And they will be destroyed along with the demons and powers of hell. It says in Second Peter. So we have to be very careful how we address things. We don't want to ever. Pride will come in, and pride you'll you'll be talking nonsense and and thinking that it's by your own doing, and really the Lord is doing it. So we just have to be careful, you know. Yes. Just like yes. just like yes. the angel Michael said, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuked you, right? Yes. So we have to we have to know. Our place, right? Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes, and I think this happened to me. So I've been like, this has been a very hard week for me. <laughs> so here I am, and everything's going wrong. And then last night, and then this morning, and nothing's going right. And then, I, then you know, you start to your head starts to hurt, and you know, I needed prayer this morning, right? So it's it, and it, the enemy will do that. Yeah. Somebody's going to get free today Amen. because the, the enemy will do that. He will, he will send a tax your way and you will be like, oh, I'm not going to go to church. I can't go to church today. My throat hurts or, or I, I don't feel good or, you know, whatever the, whatever the case may be. And in this, this time, you know, that's not really a safe thing to say, but, but um, the enemy will do that to you. He'll yes. keep you home. He, you'll miss your blessing. You'll miss your deliverance. Yes. You'll miss yes. your healing. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes all God needs is for us to be together. He yes. said, do not forsake the gathering of the yes. church. Even as, yes. even as um, you guys were talking this morning about, you know, everybody, Pastor was saying, everybody has a place, right? Yes. Everybody, we are all body, right? Yes. We all, you know, there's, uh, there's. The intercessors are so important, right? Mm -hmm. There's, there's, um, uh, everybody can pray when, when a deliverance is taking place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that reminds me that first um, deliverance that I encountered, I didn't know what this was. I didn't know what to do, you know? All I know is this person was manifesting mm -hmm. really bad and, and we had to do something. So it's so important to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. All I did was pray in tongues. <clears throat> prayed in tongues, yeah. and I can't tell you if we were there for 45 minutes or three hours or how long it was, but it felt like forever. Mm -hmm. And we're there, and we're praying, and the, it's so important to be filled with the Holy Spirit because you don't know what to pray, and we don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, the setting was a home. We, we were having a home church at that time. You know, God, he just needs two or three. We were basically just two or three gathered in the name of Jesus when this happened, right? So he needs us to come together, and somebody's going to be praying, and somebody's going to be, you know, everybody's going to be doing something. You know, Karen and, and, and um, 
and Sheila are always real quick to grab the cloth. Somebody has to cover the people when they're laid out, you know, or maybe, you know, to so they're not showing anything or, you know, give, you know. Everybody has something. Everybody is doing something, you know. Everybody is, is taking part. And, and the prayers, the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. Your prayers are going forth, right? Yeah. Those yeah. prayer bowls are being filled. You know, in the end times, even in Revelation, it talks about the, the they come, the, the elders, they're, they're standing up there with the bowls of our prayers, the incense of our prayers, right? Yeah. So those prayers are being poured yeah. out. Yeah. And that your prayers aren't just for right now. Right. When we, yeah. uh, when God comes, when all of that happens, when the tribulation takes place, yes. those prayer bowls are going to be poured out. Yes. Yeah. You know? So they're yeah. still moving. They're still operating, you know? So we just have to know that our Prayers are so important. Yes, yes, God yes. uses us in such a mighty yes. way. Amen. When we don't know what to pray, we pray in the Spirit. When we do know what to pray, sometimes we pray in the Spirit. And that's just the Lord. That's yes. just the Lord praying yes. through yes. you yep. and you yep. communicating with Him mm -hmm. and His will being done. Yes. Yes. You know? um, that is, it's an amazing thing what, what begins to happen. So... Um, Yeah, another thing, we, we talked about not being lukewarm, one foot in, one foot out, mm -hmm. because you can get into serious trouble doing that, you know? Yeah. Not, it's not just that God doesn't like that, you know? It's also that uh, these demons, they'll tear you up and spit you out, oh, you yeah. know? <laughs> so <laughs> oh, yeah. you can't be yeah. lukewarm. They'll put, you, they'll put you on Front Street real quick. Oh, where <laughs> were you last <laughs> night? Oh, what yeah. were you doing? You know, oh, yeah. you have to. You have oh, yeah. to be sure that you're walking right with the Lord. Yes. Not only that, even as we talked about the different helps, you know, the men. Mm -hmm. I love that there's men, you yeah. know, because men have strength and they have power and they have, they have authority. And we talked about the family priesthood. Mm -hmm. and all the authority that the men have, but also they have that strength, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And, you know, I mean, if you get thrown across, somebody has to sometimes apply a little pressure, yes. you know? Yeah. Sometimes that does happen. It's not always smooth sailing. Yeah. So you have the men, and they got the, the, the you know, the mm -hmm. strength, right? Yeah. So we, we, we need to always... Um, be, be um, equipped in prayer, mm -hmm. but we can't be a novice. We can't yeah. be somebody that just, you know, like, a, you know, be on our own. There always has to be backup. You don't ever yes. want to be like a one-man army. No. Oh, I got this, you know. God is with us. He's the one that does it, but we don't want to ever do something like that by ourselves, right? All right. You call your sister, call your brother. And then there's uh, 2 Kings 6, 16. Take heart, they who are, are with us. No, they who are with us are greater than those with the adversary. You want to sing songs of prayer, mm -hmm. praise. You want to worship. You want to praise God. You want to you wanna use your weapons, your natural weapons that God has given you. Mm -hmm. It's not, remember, it's not by your power, not, not by your might, it's by his spirit. Yes. So use your weapons of warfare yes. that you're naturally equipped with. You are naturally equipped mm -hmm. for these things, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't just put us on this earth just to, um, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, after, you know, your first encounter, you're going to, it's not going to be church as usual. You're not going to be ever the same. Yes, it's right. always going to be like, wow, I can't go back to that lukewarm church. I can't go back That's to, right. you know, whatever. It's it's not the same. It is a different encounter. It's a different experience. Your faith, it's just, there. it, it, it just totally yes. increases. Yes. Right. Like yes. you Amen. never look at at. The word the same. You never look. You you know that that you've seen the supernatural take yes. place. You know, and we have to be more open to that. We can't just be hushing everything all the time. You know, um, you know the that lukewarm Christianity. That that's not that's not a thing that the Lord did. That wasn't what He did. He walked around setting free those who were um, 
how, you know, that those who were bound and oppressed and those who were sick and infirm, he walked yeah. around doing those things, yeah, you know. Right. We exactly. have to be Christ-like. We have to walk yeah. by the Spirit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And the Word of God, it says that our iron sharpens iron, right? Yeah. So we have to be together, you know, in, in this. We have to be a body. He's looking for a, a bride, a spotless bride without spot or blemish. When he comes back, that's what he's looking for. He's not looking for somebody, uh, oh, you know, the, the one that, the one that, you know, has their own platform, their own ministry. And, and you know what I mean? He's looking for the one that's serving the Lord, the that's one right. that is, is interested in the word of God, interested in fulfilling the plans and the purposes that God has. He created us for a purpose. Yeah. He foreknew us. He predestined us. He sent us into the world we have we have been um preordained by god mm -hmm. he's already got a plan and a purpose yeah. for you whatever you're going through in life whatever is going on just know that as long as you you're acknowledging god in your daily life know that whatever is going on in your life right now He's already here. Already yes. knew that was in yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even when you pray, he already knew what you were going to say before you said it. He already knows. Your situation is not too big for him. He's already got it. He's already planned it all out. He said he knows the plans he has for you. He plans to prosper you, not to harm you. He plans to give you a future and an expected end. He knows the plans he has for you. When he sent Samson, Samson his mom and, and his dad and, and they were so worried about the Philistine woman that he wanted to be with but God was already working that out so <laughs> he was going to deliver them from the Philistines the Israelites from the Philistines and he was going to use that whole situation that looks horrible no that look, that's miserable he cannot do this and at the whole time God's setting it up you think that this person's walking into a disaster, but God's yeah. helping us. Yeah. Yes, 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 so yes, yes, you got to yes. know that God before you, who yeah. can be against you? Yeah. Yeah. Keep walking in the dreams of That's the Lord. Right. And then um, we were talking about, oh, back to what we were talking about, the whole helps thing, you know. And, and when somebody's praying and, and you know, everybody praying the spirit. And, and it, remember, we talked about it last time. If the wrong person touches mm -hmm. them, yeah. you know, the person starts to relax and be at ease. Mm -hmm. Because now the enemy knows, you know, mm -hmm. we have to just be very careful who we're allowing to put hands on us. Right. Yes, you right. have yes, to be very it. careful. Yeah, amen. You know, yeah. Although yeah. there is transfer yeah. There, you know, you don't have to worry about that. When you come to a church setting, know that the angels are working on your behalf. Yeah. There's way more of them than for, for you than there is against That's you. Right. And they're going to take care of you. But you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, my child or my kid. You know, these kids are smart these days. And you know what? They, they, they're exposed to more in the school that they That's go right. to, mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. And, and, and these different places that you allow them to be, they're exposed to more than they will be in the church. Mm -hmm. Seeing a devil cast on right. somebody, they, they'll they'll be more equipped. They'll yes. it'll be more familiar. They'll know more, right? Yes. So we we don't have to worry about stuff like that. No, yeah. um, Sometimes even when we're doing deliverance, mm -hmm. we'll um, when we're doing deliverance, we'll go, we'll the the person will manifest and then you'll hear a screech or a scream or throwing up or whatever however whatever is going on right sometimes that's just a like the the there's apostle would always say beat the bushes remember him saying you got to beat the bushes right so like them trying to hoodwink you trying to make you think okay they're gone and you know the person still needs to be delivered they're still acting the same they're still doing the same things they just pull the fast one on you you know sometimes you got to go back through you got to make sure you know you got to call things out the reason that people have been sitting yes. in their church for 35 plus years being a christian their whole life never getting free is because nobody ever called it out. <coughs> nobody yeah. ever said, come out yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Nobody ever did that. So yeah. that, that enemy still has a right to be there, right? So we have to learn to call things out, you know? Now, I mean, my son's so used to it. He's like, 
<laughs> Last night I'm like, cause he kept sneezing all night, pray for him because I don't know. Uh, so I'm coming against that spirit of allergies. Come out in the name of Jesus, and he's like, Lord, <laughs> I can't even sneeze around you. <laughs> but that's what we gotta do, you know. <laughs> I, you know, that's that's your practice right there. Yeah, your home, your house, your yeah. family, yeah. your children. You you know the devil's gonna come and attack. Oh, the boy was yeah. teasing all night. I had to put the vaporizer on. I'm like, come out in the name of Jesus. And then he's like, he's like oh, Mom, I'm fine. It's just I'm just teasing. <laughs> but we we have to we have to be aware. You know what I mean? Like I said, it was attacks, attacks, attacks all night, and I'm just like not letting up. I'm Amen. not gonna let up. Right, right. I'm not gonna let up. You can tell me it's just allergies all you want, but I know who you are. Look at me. Another thing. Look at me. You can story. you can tell so much by somebody's eyes. Yes. When you're praying for them. You pay attention to their eyes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we want to close our eyes because naturally we just wanna. That's how we pray, to. right? But sometimes you gotta keep gotta watch and pray, baby. You gotta watch, watch yeah. and pray. That's yeah. right. Where it says, right? Yeah. We watch and pray. So, so we're praying and we're looking. Sometimes those eyes will tell you something oh, so different, mm -hmm. and you'll know that there's something there. Oh, you, know, yeah. you gotta, you gotta really pray for discernment. You have mm -hmm. to let that discernment kick in completely, fully. Lord mm -hmm. God, give me discernment. Give me, give me. Um, let me see you know and he'll let you see and 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 you know that's what we have to do we have to make sure that person will look if they can't look at you in in your eyes there's a problem yeah yeah you you got company and and <laughs> you have to make sure they're looking at you in your eyes you know so <laughs> love on them too there's been times where i can tell you that i've actually hugged someone and they and and they've been delivered Amen. just by hugging them the love. demons don't know about love no. they don't believe no. in love mm -hmm. they they don't know about love right and sometimes just you're loving them loving the hell out of them right That's it. you just have to love you them yeah. you have That's to it. you know um, hug them, be oh, nice to them. They know they're being evil towards you. They know they what know. they're saying and doing. But your love, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your Jesus love will overcome love. that. And 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 I've seen it. I've witnessed it. Mm -hmm. Love on them. Just yes. love them. Yep. And and you'll watch them. You'll you'll you know that light in you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord. And then there's Lord. um. So you, when you're praying, when you're when you're when you're gonna do deliverance, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you set the atmosphere, Lord. Lord, send your angels. Yes, yes. right. Send your send your warring angels. Yes. And as Amen. you're doing deliverance, you know, uh, the Lord's gonna reveal something to you, something that you should do. Something. Nothing is set in stone, you know. Nothing is just do it this way. There is no handbook on the real. Like this is how it's gonna happen. Right. You know, it might happen in j just a setting that this is not the right time. It usually does happen like that. It's not the right. This is not the time. But you just have to make sure that you're always being led by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Um, Amen. Always have your spiritual discernment. Always um, be praying. Pray for protection. Pray pray that, that um, the Holy Spirit thoroughly flush out every trace. <laughs> Everything, like when you're, after the deliverance has taken place, pray for that person, cover them. You know, sometimes we have to bind, right? Sometimes there's no time, right? That person can't get free. They're, they're, they're manifested, but they can't get free. They're still, you know, you can tell, right? So, so you can, sometimes you just have to bind it up until another session. So you just say, what did the Lord say? He said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose. Amen. Amen. So you, I find you, spirit of blah, 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 and in the name of Jesus. And, and even when they're, they're being delivered, 
you can't harm this person. Sometimes, you know, like, let's say, Rosie, you probably know about this, like, um, you know, like the hoodlums, right? When they, they they steal a car, yeah. they get in the car, and the police are chasing them, and then they're going over curves. Yeah. They're, they're doing all kinds of stuff. They're press, they're accelerating the gas all the way. They're doing things that they wouldn't normally do, right? If it was their own car, right? right? Yeah. That's how the demons are. With you. That's right. They're gonna yeah. use and abuse you. They're gonna, you know, yes. you're, they're gonna hurt you. Yeah. And, and that's why even during deliverance, you pray. You know, and, and, and you, you say, come out and do them no harm. Yes. Yes. As you're coming yes. out, don't cause them any harm. Right. Yes. And, 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 yes. and they right. have to obey. There's angels that are there, you yeah. know. Yeah. So they have to obey. They have to obey your voice. Mm -hmm. um, I know that I, I did this so differently because I started out, uh, uh, Pastor Allen said last time, you know, some people don't know about deliverance, right? True. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, that's true. I just dove right in. Some people don't know about deliverance. They don't even know, you know, what is yeah. deliverance, yes. right? Mm -hmm. What is deliverance? Does anybody know what deliverance is? Not know what deliverance is? Does anybody not know? Well, in in Luke four eighteen, Jesus said, "The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised." Right. Amen. Jesus, it's part of our mandate. He did it first. He he got up there and he said that, and all the Pharisees got all mad at him oh, for yeah. saying that. Yeah. And and they were so mad, and all these demons started manifesting. And he just closed the book, it says, right? And that he was done. Um, that was his message, right? Yeah. That's what he did. It says in Mark 16, 17, no, 16, 15 through 17. Mark. Mark what? Mark 15. Okay, so Mark 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth that is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe, them that believe. If you don't believe, this isn't going to work yes, for you. That's right. You, yes. That's the key right yep. there. You have to believe. Yep. If you don't believe, don't expect somebody to get delivered. Don't right. expect them to be healed. Don't expect anything to happen. But if you believe, these signs are going to follow you. And then in my name, which is Jesus Christ, Shall they cast out devils, they shall speak in new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it yes, shall not yes. hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Amen. Right? Amen. So that's our mandate, to go ahead and set the captives free. So that's what deliverance is, setting the captives free. Yes. You know, we, we have to do, he, Jesus said, I only do what I, I see my father doing, and I only say what I hear my father doing. Saying. Yes. We have to be like Christ, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to be, he, he's the one that we have to um, imitate. We have to be like him. We're imitators of God. Yes. In Ephesians 5, it talks about being an imitator of God. He, he on the cross, he took, he took the keys, right? Yes. And, and we're, we're oh, yeah. only saved because of him, yes. right? Mm -hmm. He Amen. died so that we could be healed, so that we wouldn't be sick. So that we wouldn't be demonically oppressed. Mm -hmm. And he did all of this for us. Thank right? You. So we have to know that God did this for us. And yes. we have to do that for each other. Yes. He said, love the Lord your God. And then love your neighbor as yourself. Right? Yes. He, we have to do these things for him. This is part of his mandate. He said, go out into all the world. Right? Lay hands on the sick. Set free those who are defiled and oppressed. And we have to do it. You know, we can't go back to our normal lifestyle of, I'm just going to go to church, um, listen to the word, and then go on with my week. We have to walk with him on a daily basis. Yes. 
we have to we have to let him use us. And then um, another thing, so once we talked about this, once deliverance has taken place, we fill the person up. Yes. Right. We fill them up, and and we and and we pray, um, you know, that the angels, you know, will be around them, will encamp around them. Mm -hmm. We just pray for them, right? Um, we don't want them to go out, and then the devil's going to start up already with you were right? yeah. set free. That didn't really just happen. So we just have to make sure that we're listening to the to the voice of God, and we're we're doing what He's calling us to do. We're um, created a fight to to fight for our families, to fight for our church. This is our family right here. We are we are a family, and and, and our family is going to grow. Yeah, you know, and it's going to get bigger, and that's what happens in our natural family too. Our family grows, and it gets bigger, and mm -hmm. and you know, with each generation, there's more and more. So we just have to make sure that we um, continue to walk in the things of the Lord. We continue to let Him yes. use us. Yes. Um, yes. People worry about about stuff like that. You know, there's no there's no stars in this in this ministry mm -hmm. it's all jesus yeah, no stars nobody's gonna take the prize home with them yeah. nobody's gonna you know the, that pride subdue it because it's not it's not you it's the lord right, right. and i think that and we have to know too that they hated Jesus, right? Yeah. They hated him, and he said that they were going to hate yeah. us too. Yeah. One third of his ministry was casting out, uh, setting the captives free from demonic oppression. That was one third of his ministry. Mm -hmm. So he did that while he was on earth. Um, he, they didn't like him. They're not going to like you. Yeah, you know, they're yeah. not going to like you. Maybe on your job, or maybe your neighbors, or even. You know people that you are friends with <laughs> but that's okay they didn't like Jesus either and it's not it that's not for us to worry about no. it's just for us to know that before we go when we go for before God we don't want any blood on our hands right we don't want him to say what did you do with the talents yes. that I gave? Ooh, yes. what did you do with the gifts that I gave that's you? right oh I put them I put them in the you could have I put them, I dug it in the in the ground because I, I know that you're a harsh guy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He's going to say, depart from me, you work for a yeah. I never knew you, yeah. right? So we have to go before him. Lord, I did everything that you told me to do. I, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to pray for that lady. I didn't want to go up to that lady in aisle mm -hmm. nine. I didn't want to do it, mm -hmm. but I but I did it because you told yes. me to do it. Yes. You know? Amen. Um, Amen. We just have to always know that we don't want to go before him and him say, you know, you didn't do anything that's what I asked you. Right? You, so many people could have been saved. Some, you know, imagine, right? How would you feel? Right. You're the parent and, you know, your children didn't make it because, because of, you know, you slacking, right? God is so good. He's given us the tools. He's given us the power. The authority, he said, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. In Matthew 18, 18. I've given you the keys. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. You know that the third, the there's the third heaven, right? Because yes. the, the apostles talked about yeah. it. And then there's yes. that second heaven that everyone really talks about. That's where the warfare is. Mm -hmm. in. That's where we're That's fighting. Right. Right? Amen. You think that the devil right now is and no. No. Right now he's in he's, um there's uh, spiritual yeah. wickedness in high places. That's right. So in that second heaven, that's where the, the fight is going on. That's yeah. where the war and our prayers are going up and the angels are receiving you know what I mean? And things are happening in that spirit. Yes. That's yeah. in the, the warfare that takes place. Mm -hmm. So we have to know that we are not. We're, those prayers, they have to go up. We, when we're binding, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. So we're binding it right here. And as we're binding it, the, the, those demonic forces aren't able to operate in that second heaven. Mm -hmm. Lord God, I stand as an apostolic gatekeeper for the city of Aurora, and I command every demonic spirit, yes. 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 drug addiction, alcoholism. I 
yes. to leave the city yeah. now. Amen. Those angels come, angels come and arrest them, yes. escort them out of the city. Yes. yes. What are they doing? What yes. is all that that spiritual warfare taking place? Oh, yeah. Just coming out of your mouth, they're moving on your behalf. Yes. So we have to know that we have power. Amen. Don't go up to heaven and and go before God and and you didn't use your power. Come on, That's right. You know, yeah. right. don't be up there with your false yeah. humility talking about oh I didn't want to be that person that um, is just praying and, and you know <laughs> no you want to go up there and say Lord I try I did everything I knew how to do right man. everything that I heard my father saying I said it you know everything that I seen my father do I did it you know mm -hmm. that's how we have to be when we go before the Lord amen um so that is basically all that I have for you guys. Amen. 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 I appreciate you guys listening to me. Thank you, Father God. We praise you, Lord God. We worship you this this morning, Lord. We thank you, Father God. We know that, that you are doing great and mighty things, Lord. I pray you equip your people. Arm them fully in your armor this morning, God. Cancel every demonic assignment the enemy has against them. In the name of Jesus, I pray you cover them with your precious blood. Lord God, I pray that this day, Father God, that they will go forth and that they will preach the gospel, that they will lay hands on the sick and that they will set free those that are bound and oppressed, that you will um, equip them this morning, Father God. Arm them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Cancel yes. every assignment the enemy has against them. Use them for your glory, Lord God. Yes. Use them for your glory, Lord. Let them see miracles signs and wonders dear God we pray Father God that you will just move on their behalf yes, and Lord. that you will do it set us free Father God yes, consuming Lord. fire consume everything in us that is not like yes. you Lord God we want you to move on our behalf Lord God we want to be filled with the Holy Spirit Lord God we don't want to have room for anything but you my God so we just thank and praise you and we pray that yes. you will just have your way this day in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Amen.